Okay, so I'm uh, starting off with this LIDG truck, but it's only in 135th scale. And I've cut all the parts out for section one of the uh, instructions. And these must be handed because they're C38 and C39, so I've put them on the sides of the truck where they should go. These two parts must not be because they're just C37, both same. And also got this hook so I'm going to do the clean up and we'll do the clean up and then I'll start video it while I glue it together okay see you shortly okay so all the parts have been cleaned up uh, and they've orientated them uh, the correct way I think yep that goes that way and I glued in the hook Towing hook on that part. So, <clears throat> that part goes there, I think. Yeah. <sighs> there you go, it crap on there straight away. Okay, so it fits in, and then this part goes in there. So when you're building a kit, what's your favourite part, bit to do? Like with me, I don't know why, but my favourite part is this, gluing it together. I always find this more enjoyable than painting it. They get painted because they look a bit crap if they didn't, wouldn't they? <laughs> okay, so I need to put that bit there and that bit there. Put a bit of attacky to attack them in. This part that bit goes at the back. Is it like this here?
Anyway, so uh, let me know what you think. Which is your favourite bit of building a model? But just leave a comment. Put it in the comments. Is it gluing it together or is it uh, painting and weathering? So I like painting, but I'm not keen on weathering. Again, another necessary evil, especially with trucks and stuff and like stuff like this. Uh, but with aircraft, I don't like weathering aircraft, even though I've done it. Uh, exhaust staining, yes, they need that. They need exhaust instead, exhaust staining. But all the other things that happened. No, I don't think so. <coughs> okay, so. That's those bits glued in. That's part one. So section two involves the wheels and section three involves the axles. Um, these are the tires from not going to put these on the wheels yet until they've been painted and what have you. What does it say? General tires, yeah. Anyway, there's a couple of poly caps as well. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, I've uh, glued up the wheels from sections two and three. You can see, deep, deep. Don't think they turn around now. Uh, that one does, but this one doesn't. Which is no great shape because I'm not bothered. Uh, they're the real wheels. Even though they were mo turning before, they're not now. Oh, but but there's a rubber, uh, there's a what they call it in there, the polycap. Um, I'm ready to put the rear axle in, but I'll put this in the front. Uh, the front bumper. With a, I'm guessing that's a radiator. Boy, was this fiddly. Oh, I didn't clean that up. These two little parts here glue on here and then glue on to this. And I need to clean that up, they're unbelievable. Anyway, I'll glue the wheels on. So let's see. That goes to the rear. Are you joking me? Does it go through the fucking springs? The instructions are really vague. Yeah, I think it'll go through the street springs. Because it ain't gonna go through there. Unless. <laughs> Unbelievable. Right, okay. See you shortly. Okay. So I've cut all the parts out through um, that little section there. And we we'll start gluing them on. Like the headlights. Using Tamiya Extra Thin, uh, holding it in place. Come in the next one. Same thing. Sure, it's correct. Yeah. 
Yeah, but managed to get a thumbprint in there. Where is it, a thumbprint? I don't know. Okay, so that's then done. Uh, next part is this one. So, use a Tamiya White glue for that. Should give it a bit of a clean up after. <coughs> so, so those two parts on. Just worried about these two little parts. <laughs> I'll uh, stop. pause it there. Yeah, I'll come back to it. Yeah, all right. Okay, uh, the, these two are glued in. To be fair, they're a bit fiddly. Um, I think they're the side lights. Uh, the condenser is glued in. This definitely was fiddly. That pipe on top, it was fiddly to get out the, uh, out the uh, sprue and fiddly to glue in from there to there as well. Um, uh, moved. I've glued in the uh, steering column, the gear changer and the handbrake and the handbrake's moved a little bit. So, let's sort that out. I'm going to have to put some more glue in I think. Um, dashboard has a bit of detail. When I painted it, I'm going to paint it black and then try and get in there with, so, with a gel pen to uh, do the dials. It's better now. Need a bit more glue. It took me a while to get it in. Anyway, so uh, next parts I'm going to cut out are off this section. Uh, the bed roll's not going to put in because they're going to get painted separately. These are canvas doors. Uh, the same, uh, they're going to get paint, I'm going to paint them separately. I'll put these bit parts in on the top of the mud guides or the fenders or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I'll put these parts on here. It says machine gun. How is that? Is that, is that a machine gun? Or is it, it's a rifle, isn't it? I think. So I'm going to put the. Uh, Gun metal mud. I'll have to paint them. Set. I'll have to paint them because they go in there. So I'll have to see what happens with them. So I'll get those these pieces out and get them glued in. Uh, don't think I'm going to be using this figure. I may do, but we'll, we'll have to see. He's going to be this figure. He's going to be operating a camera. So, I think. Well, anyway, we'll see. Alright. So, I'll get the bits cut out and glued in. Okay, see ya. Okay, um, so, I've uh, cut out all the parts for the uh, flatbed of the truck. Um, all, the side, all the side parts, all of the jet spin marks in them. So I filled them with some uh, Galeo plastic putty and I'm going to uh, sort them out now. I uh, don't know if I've videoed. So I've prepped all the other parts that need painting. Uh, I'm not going to put this on yet because uh, these parts with the rifle, they go here. 
somewhere like that and somewhere like that somewhere like, you know, somewhere like that so they need painting before I put it on so I shall paint those bits and then glue them on after anyway so I'll sort these out now and we'll have a look at gluing the bits together Okay, see you shortly. Okay. If you're gluing big jobs like this, it's always best to use something like that, that glue instead of extra thin. Uh, not only do you get more time with it. You can, you know, you have to, the, the time to move it around, get it in the right spot. Interesting. That's not fitting. I'll come back to this in a minute. Okay. Right. Uh, things have moved on a bit. You get carried away. Well, I have done this week. Uh, chassis is complete. I put the wheels on, uh, painted it, uh, tell me a flat black, the chassis. 
uh, compared to the engine with Humbral uh, gun metal and then dry brush some gun metal along the axle and what have you. Uh, that's going to, might need gluing, it's going to come off. Yeah, uh, the Pilar vibe we are. The steering linkage, linkage, there's a in the box. There is a instructions amendment and a never saw a lot to be fair. Well, I did when I did the unboxing, but not while I was building the kit, so I got that wrong. Uh, the cab. It's uh, well been painted mostly in Tamir acrylics. Uh, the yellow is the uh, XF60 dark yellow. Uh, seats been dry, uh, painted with a uh, Humbral leather 62, and uh, did a bit of dry brushing and some panel line wash. Uh, batteries there. I think the Umbral 85 satin black. These are uh, buff. Tell me. It's pretty detailed. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can see it. The radiator's been painted black and then dry brush with a uh, gun metal to bring out the detail. Don't know if the camera's picking that up. And the box. And, uh, painted a wood bit. A uh, deck tamp. Do a bit of weathering on it. Uh, the tire's just. The spare tire's just uh, pushed in. Everything else. Oh, everything to make the truck has been painted. I uh, can't put the exhaust on because until I glue this bit on because it plugs into there. Uh, I might need to uh, do some detail work on the radio. But everything else has been painted and it just wants gluing together. Uh, all the bits that got you know storage and what have you all ready to be painted but that's the next task uh, the figures that I'm going to use are all primed and ready to go now so I've uh, got a camera got a resin kit from uh, Wish, I ordered this from Wish, it's a German propaganda team, but it's got a resin camera in. Never done uh, this kind of thing before, so this will be a learning curve. Anyway, that came yesterday. All good fun. So, uh, I'll see you shortly. Um, when I've glued all chucked together, I'll uh, show it you. Okay, right, thanks, bye. Okay, so uh, the Chevrolet is complete now, um, to a certain extent. Uh, looks okay, doesn't it? Just, um, this came the other day. Got it off Amazon. It's come all the way from China. This must have took about three or four weeks to get here. But it certainly makes a difference to the bed rolls that I'm putting on here, around here. Um, okay, I don't know if you can see what I've done with the radio. Uh, with the headphones, I'm going to put them on the shelf with a wire going into there. 
been painting up loads of the equipment. Uh, barrels. Wooden box. Where is it? What do you think? Does it look like wood? I don't know. Well, it's a bit cracks me, but um, and I've been using that brown. Um, some of the stuff that's going to be in the truck or hanging from the side of it. Like that. So. Uh, just a few things, a few more things to do. Oh, yeah, I need to wear uh, what do you call it? Uh, flimsies. <laughs> need to put a bit of uh, black wash in them. Um, on the jerry cans, I've painted them and um, put some of that brown wash in. That excellent colour. So I've just got a few more things to paint up and then we'll put it, you know, basically together and we'll start doing the diorama. I've uh, already primed the figures in white primer, ready for painting. So we'll get on with that after I've done all the bits and bats. So, uh, see you shortly. Hi. Uh, uh, okay, I'm calling the truck done now. I've uh, still got the figures to do. And um, the uh, diorama for it to go on. But waiting for some uh, photo frames to arrive for that one. Um, yeah, I, I've really enjoyed building this uh, kit from Tamiya. I know it's from uh, the truck is from the 1970s. I know that because uh, I remember seeing it. It was one that I wanted to build when I was a kid, when uh, I was young, not a kid, yeah, when I was a teenager. But I never got around to it, never bought, never bought it or anything. Um, as you can see, I've decked it out in the uh, rear of the truck with fuel, with uh, fuel cans, jerry cans. What I hope looks like a wooden box. Um, there's some flimsies, spare wheel, bedding, a couple of rucksacks, I've set up the radio, you know, the earphones, it's got a cable on it, uh, so, oh yeah, so put that on at the, uh, this side. Um, all in all, it went together with, you know, it's a tummy kit. Because it, because of its age, I've had to scrape a few parts, some parts, you know, of uh, small amounts of flash or seam lines. But you put the parts together, glue them, and they're glued, you know what I mean? No, no fully, fully used. You just get on with it. And, uh, yeah, I've enjoyed building this. Painted the uh, seat with Umbro leather, 62. Then I went over it with Tommy a panel liner, black. And then did a bit of dry brushing with uh, Umbro 118, I think, yeah. And oh yeah, while I were making it, some dark brown panel liner came, so oh, that's gone on too. Can you see these uh, on the front of the truck and all the jerry cans got some of that as well just to dusty them up a bit uh, I've done a little bit of weathering can you see on the uh, edges painted some dark grey paint on them um, it's going to get some more weathering when I uh, do the diorama because then when they truck and the jeep are together, they're gonna, you know, they need to look at roughly the same, don't they? Anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. It's got, a, oh yeah, put Lewis Gun on the uh, thing at the back. Um, 
like so. All the figures are, pain, are uh, primed and just want painting me. Need to get on with it. Anyway, so I hope you've liked this uh, build. Um, thought about buying this kit yourself. Like, I think it cost me twenty pound or something like that off uh, Amazon. Not a lot of money. And like I say, you know, it just went together, no problem. Uh, I did have uh, some problem with the front sus front steering on the front wheels, but that's my fault, not Tommy's fault, because they did put a dead, uh, you know, a sheet in that told you that the instructions were wrong. But I forgot about that. Anyway, so uh, we'll call that the end of this video. If you've got this far, thanks very much. You, if you if you don't mind, would you consider uh, liking the video because it's likes that count apparently. Also, if you're not a subscriber, would you subscribe, please? Because uh, we all need subscribers, don't we? Anyway, so for the time being, this is uh, Stevie D signing off. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy modelling and cheerio!